morning. So I've just got back in with the poo. I was going to film while we were out, but got outside of the door and like, woo, it's windy today. Literally did not get a break in the wind. Even standing uh, in the bits that's like sheltered by the hedges and stuff we were having to film yesterday. Not a chance. Wind were blowing in the wrong direction. Couldn't get away from it. Ugh. I've had an extra sort of half an hour in bed today. Because I've come to realise that me and Danny are the kind of people that always say, just one more episode. And that one more episode took us to about half three, 25 to four this morning. Oh, I've got to move everything because the dog wants to get up. Come on then. Yeah, we are those those one more episode kind of people. Ended up staying up stupidly late again just to watch that one more episode of Ali McBeal. A series that we've both seen numerous times as well. That's what makes it bad. It's not like we're watching something new. It's not like we've discovered a new show that we enjoy. We're just watching the same things over and over and over. Aren't we, Pooh? Oh dear, you've caught that thing on your face, haven't you? You're bleeding, sir. You've been scratching at that, haven't you? Can you have a look? Oh dear. That's not good. You poor little poo. His big spot's hanging off and he's bleeding. Oh dear. Better have a look at this. Poor Scooby Doo. The poor Pooh Baru. His, uh, He's got like a lump cyst thing on the side of his mouth, like the edge, edge of his kind of lip, and it was really hard on the outside, and now it's like the whole of the outside has fallen off, like it's kind of like a scab, and now he's bleeding. He's caught, must have caught it while we were out. I'm kind of worried. You alright, kid? Yeah? I might have to go to the vets. See if the bleeding stops. And, uh, I'm going to have to look this up. Poor poo. You were right, kid. Yeah. Yeah? You're feeling sorry for yourself. Yeah. Oh, dear. Should we get you a biscuit? I think that's a yes. <laughs> uh, I've looked up what we think it is. What did I say it was? Histiocytoma? Yeah. Yeah, which is just a benign tumour. But uh, it could be ulcerous from him scratching it because it's gone bright red and like all the tops falling off. The problem of it. is when scabs fall off anything cancerous, it makes the cancer bigger. Yeah. So we've got to take him in. We phoned the vets and they said uh, bring him in at half three. But if it doesn't stop bleeding, get give him a ring and they'll get him in earlier. We left it an hour and it's still bleeding a bit. So phoned them back up and they said bring him straight in. So we are off to the vets. And he is half excited because we're going somewhere, <laughs> <laughs> but also feeling sorry for himself. So this uh, not going to be exciting. No, this where we're going. This could be uh, an entertaining adventure. So excited, even though he doesn't know where. We're going. Right, the good news: it is benign. It is a histiocytoma, which uh, I keep forgetting the word before I say it. Yeah, but it is one of them. So that's one good thing. Um, he's got a course of antibiotics and a course of anti-inflammatory and painkiller, uh, antihistamine stuff. And he's got to go back in 10, well just over 10 days in it, back yeah. on 15th, uh, just to check that it's not got any bigger. Um, it's basically one of them that they can take off eventually if it don't go away on its own, but it should after a few months. So She said when we get him done, yeah. when we get him neutered anyway, we, we, they can, they can take just it do off. it then. So we'll uh, we'll wait and see. I'd, I've wanted to hold out until he's three to get him done, which Vet agreed with that that's the best age. <laughs> so that's November, so we'll probably get him done. I'd just rather get them done before they realise they've got them. Yeah, you've got to let them grow properly though, because it affects the way that they grow if you get them done early. So once once he's uh, three, which is November sometime, we'll come get him done, and if he's still got this thing on his face, that can go as well. But yeah, panic over, it's benign, it's nothing to worry about, it just 
caught it and if he catches it again we've just got to dab at it and put some pressure on to stop it bleeding <sighs> right we can go home and have a you're going to bankrupt me <laughs> are you bankrupting that mum <laughs> you're costing her a fortune yeah good job you're worth it kid if you want to know the best way of getting from early lunchtime well a late lunchtime should I say to what logically would be bedtime for most people watch this video because I can tell you the answer now is sit on your ass for several hours watching TV that is all we have done since getting that one back from the vets mm -hmm. sit on our ass watching Ali McBeal we don't get a chance to spend a day to just sit on our ass very often. We haven't even done that because we had to take him out. Well yeah but that's what I'm saying. That's how you time travel from like late lunchtime to nearly bloody midnight. Uh, we should probably eat as well and I don't know what we've got in. <laughs> probably nothing. We had a plate of chips earlier between us and that's all we've had today. <laughs> We're going shopping tomorrow. This one wants her nose pierced. Yeah, but tomorrow you're taking the plunge, maybe, yeah. possibly. Yeah. Road trip to get her face stabbed. I've got to be like, I has, I has brain nerve problems, so things hurt more than they should. So please be gentle, <laughs> please numb my face. <laughs> so we're going to try and combine the two. Do Go and get a, a hole put in her face, and then go and do a bit of shopping. So we've got some food in. It's not like we can't afford it either. It's not like other week when my mum had to bring us shopping. Well, I don't know since the vet trip. I'm I'm pretty sure you have enough to cover the vet uh, vet trip, sweetie. I hope so. I've seen your bank account, remember? I haven't seen it in a while. We saw it a few days ago. It's okay. But yeah, get a few bits in. But yeah, it ain't because we can't afford it. It's just because I'm working. And when I'm not working, she seems to be on a poorly day. So, oh, when I am working, but we could go in the morning, she's on a poorly day or whatever. So we just don't really have time to go. And I don't like Danny going shopping on her own. Because she then has to cart heavy things from the car. And I'm not around to do it. I so. don't like going shopping on my own. It's not good. No. So... Tomorrow, that's tomorrow's plan. But we've got to get to tomorrow, which means we have to have tonight and go to sleep. And because all we're probably going to do is continue watching TV, and I'm getting really hot because the heating's on to try and dry the blanket that's been washed. Whew. It's still on? I put it back on once <laughs> I took your thing out of the washer because I wanted at least to get some heat into it. Yeah, uh, we need to call it a night before we can get to tomorrow. So, yeah. Comment, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already guys. Other than that, cheers for watching and as usual we shall see you tomorrow.